Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see here, the US 30 is, uh, is pushing up through that potential resistance at 16401 and looking towards the next potential resistance at 16598. And that's on the back of some dovish comments by Yellen yesterday indicating that extraordinary measures are, uh, are, are still in play and uh, slightly less uh, hawkish than what she had come out with before. So market was all uh, getting primed for an early interest rate hike in the US in 2015. Most other commentators were still saying 2016. Um, but after the comments yesterday, people are kind of rolling over a little bit. So what we're actually seeing is uh, a bit of a turnaround in the US dollar, not against the Japanese yen, no, but right across the rest of the board, which we'll come to back in a second. So US market's looking pretty well supported in the short term, um, but we'll see. We've got some more economic data coming out. Uh, today's pr quite prolific for data. But anyway, next potential resistance on the US 30 is 16.598. So we have a look at the UK 100. Uh, it had shot up earlier on this morning only to get pushed right back down again, uh, slightly depressed. Uh, Germany 30 is actually pushing up in the right direction. UK 100 just can't seem to get its momentum going. Yesterday, incredibly volatile session. It's a horrible looking candle from a psychological point of view. We are now trading below the 55 period and 21 period SMA. And uh, we've got to be looking at the next potential support at 65.81. And any bounce might be capped by resistance at 6.666. Um, so that's where we are with that. Slightly disappointing on the UK 100. If we have a look at Japan 225, it got a little bit closer, just edging ever so slightly closer to that potential resistance of 49.77. Today's um, price action has been slightly pressured again by that 55 period SMA. Um, potential support is at 14.219, but to be honest, we're seeing a big unwinding of the Japanese yen uh, against a whole host of other currencies, especially New Zealand dollar, which is. Uh, heavily bet at the moment because it's got a higher yielding interest rate than many others. Uh, carry trades back in play just now. Dollar yen is where a lot of people are looking but um, New Zealand dollar Japanese yen is where a lot of traders should be looking and um, that's where we are for now. So if the yen continues to weaken that should be a little bit of a shot in the arm for Japan 225. Though the Takin index over uh, Takin figures uh, showed a lack of confidence uh, by Japanese business owners uh, for the next quarter, but that's going against the grain for the rest of the um, kind of region where Asia is a little bit more bullish. So if we have a look at that dollar yen position, um, we are trading above potential um, resistance, or it was support I should say, at 102 spot 87, which is good. So we're finally making some, uh, some decent headway. We're kind of floating around the 103 level right now. Next potential resistance at 103 spot 77. Technical indicators are relatively neutral, indicating further room for maneuver if we get a little bit, bit of bullish momentum. So some more dollar strength would be quite good. But after Yellen's dovish comments yesterday, um, we need some pretty strong US data to uh, to help propel dollar yen up that little bit higher. So if we continue to have a look at crude oil West Texas, which had been having a, a fantastic run, it's coming off slightly at the moment. Obviously that weaker US dollar should be giving it a shot in the arm. Um, there was talk about uh, supply concerns of North, in North Africa and Libya, um, but personally I think the resistance there at 103 was, has been relatively strong. We have had a very good uh, 10 sessions, slight little bit of profit taking, so this could be a retracement and move back up to 103. If it's not, next potential support is at 100 spot 60. So poor old gold, feeling no love right now. and. Um, you know, with risk on uh, and people buying up, uh, you know, buying up the indices and dollars selling off, that should be helping gold a little bit. But uh, as it stands right now, people are winding yen, people are winding gold. Uh, and unless there's something uh, quite negative coming out in the markets, there's a lot of fundamental factors and technical factors why gold is, uh, is, is feeling this pain. The next potential support is at 1267. Any retracement up higher might meet resistance at 12, potential resistance at 12.95. Uh, technical indicators are, are falling off a cliff right now, so they are slightly over, oversold, but there's not yet any reversal signal yet. Consider this just an early warning that it's um, perhaps come off too much, but when you look at this uptrend and then a the sell-off, it is quite close to 50% retracement right now. In fact, if I go to my drawing tools, get my good old Fibonacci retracement, add it on like so, um, you'll be able to see we are, we are I've accidentally put a 55 uh, um, percent uh, Fibonacci right there. We are actually trading below the 50 percent Fibonacci level, so we'll be looking at the 61.8, around about that 12.62, 12.65 level. Um, so do keep that in mind. So if we finish up by looking at euro dollar, uh, euro dollar shot in the arm in that uh, dollar weakness. <coughs> there are some big doubts that Thursday will yield that ECB rate cut. 
uh, by some analysts. It may there's some, there's a very few voices saying it will come as soon as Thursday. They want to keep that ace in the hole for later. It's certainly a, a small possibility, um, but we are seeing euro dollar spike up a little bit higher this morning, breaking above potential resistance at 37.72. Uh, next potential resistance 38.63, but we have to get above that 21 period SMA. The more likely potential support that 73.09 level, and uh, you do have the 55 period SMA nicely at the same point. So to finish up then with cable, cable has been drifting slightly. Uh, well, I should really say edging higher as it gets close to 67.44. It's not like a massive leap in the right direction, but it's, it's slowly edging higher there as that US dollar weakness comes in. And there is some UK data due today. So 67.44 is the next potential resistance. So data, we do have European data, uh, German data. So that'd be good for, Euro, for uh, Euro dollar and Germany 30. We've got um, Eurozone PMI. We've got German unemployment data. We've got UK PMI, um, European jobless rates. And then and this is all 9.30, 10 o'clock. So a, a load of European data, which is fantastic. And then at 3 p.m. today, you've got US manufacturing PMI, uh, which everybody should get a chance to have a look at. So remember to set your alerts on there. Well, guys, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.